Hey guys, welcome back. I'm me, DC Gunner, and today I'm going to talk to you what are some of the best beginner watches for men. Because when I say beginner watches, I'm thinking cheap, affordable. You know why? Because uh, cheap, affordable watches, if you are a beginner, you don't really know what do you like, so you want to try as many watches as possible. So the first brand, beginner watch brand, I always recommend is Casio. Whether you like a G-Shock, which is all-time classic and has a place in every man's collection with the, alongside with Rolexes and everything because you need a beater, you need a quartz watch, or you want something funky like a hipster, like this Casio uh, calculator watch. This is a vintage, but they make and sell a brand new one in there. And uh, I will put you a link in the description box for some of these watches, Casio G-Shock. And whatever Casio you pick, I'm just showing you some of the things I like. And uh, whatever Casio you pick, uh, you won't be mistaken, but don't make a mistake and buy a 10 of so Casios. One is enough, so you want to try different brands, not just Casio. For example, great affordable brand is also a Timex. Timex uh, has made a shockwave with some of the latest watches they uh, come out with, like a Timex Q, which I recommend you should not get because it's $170 and if you're a beginner uh, I will give you some options where you can spend $170 on a better place for example $170 on eBay or Joma shops and places like that even on Amazon for around I don't know 2050 check out the pricing in the description box uh, you can get Orient Mako, Orient Tray, Orient Blu-ray, and that's my favorite watch I recommend for beginners because it's one of my favorite watches of all time. Uh, get the blue version and you will get a watch that looks like a $10,000 watch and it's under 200 bucks. You have a dive watch, you get a dive watch, you get a beautiful mesmerizing shimmery blue face. Uh, dial on the watch, you get a um, Mako 2, you have an automatic dial watch, 200 meter water resistant, hacking, hand winding, if that's something that you care about, and you should not, at least hacking, but you should not care, That that's not the end all and be all of the watches, and of course, you get a great bracelet and a nice box, so my favorite watch of all these watches I'm going to recommend you is that one. Another watch for beginners is, of course, I, sp I was speaking about Timex. You had, they have a great weekender line, but the Timex Q is not something I would recommend because it's expensive. But Timex is always a good alternative to Casio. Uh, Timex weekender is one of my favorites. Also, Seiko. Seiko, Seiko is the king of the affordable watches. Seiko is the king of beginner's watches. If in any price range, Seiko offers a great value for money. In any price range, I can recommend a Seiko. But in a beginner's level, in entry level, Seiko is your best friend. Why? Because if you buy a Seiko, you don't like it, you can easily sell it because there's an army of Seiko fans out there. And if you don't like it, there, I like it, all of us like it, and you will, you can sell it and get at least some of your money back, and uh, you can invest that in some of your new monies. I like to call Seiko is a Rolex of affordable watches, so you can get all-time classic, and every beginner should have as a Seiko SKX. 007 or 009 doesn't matter they are discontinued now uh, but you can still get them do not pay 300 bucks for them because they are 200 bucks all day long and you should not overpay them for 300 bucks you should be looking at seiko samurai a bit over a bit less you, you, you need to shop around you're a beginner save your dollars and shop around uh, find some places where you can find discounts and don't be afraid to buy used 
especially quartz watches and some. You need to find a good watchmaker, but even without a good watchmaker, don't be afraid to buy used watches. That way you can save some money and uh, save up for the bigger fishes. And speaking of bigger fishes, I said Casio, Timex, Seiko, Orient. There's a lots of micro brands out there, but when you're a collector, beginning collector, you want to have something bigger, bigger fish. So don't make a mistake. Lots of watch collectors are buying. You invest $3,000 or $4,000 or $5,000 in a 15 Seiko's, 20 micro brands, Dan Henry bullshit watches. You should get one Seiko, one Orient, form a collection, G-Shock, three, four, five watches, and then save up, save up for something bigger. And you want to skip the middle ground. You want to skip the, you want to skip the, all the watches around thousand hour range, save up and get yourself a uh, Mega Moon watch, uh, Tudor, Rolex, and whatever strikes your fancy, but do not buy 30 of affordable watches. I got it. I done it. Lots of you doing it. And uh, there's a uh, lots of cool things you can sell and buy, sell and buy, but do not hoard uh, too much of these watches because there's you are at the beginning. This video is for beginners, and you are at the beginning, at the start of your journey, and you wanna save up. Great first luxury watch as Omega Moon watch. You should get that one. Definitely save up for it. And appreciate it. In the meantime, get yourself Seiko, number one, Orient, Casio, Timex. And with those brands, you can cover lots of bases. There are lots of cool micro brands out there, but point is do not buy, do not buy them all. Because I when I first started, I sold a couple of watches and I got I bought myself a used uh even before that, I'm gonna speak some of the watches I uploaded. I bought a used Oris, and that was a great stepping stone. But I did not buy it brand new because when you are selling it, you're gonna lose a lot of money, which is not the case with Seiko and some of the other watches. But overall, start with G Shocks, Casios, Timex, Orient Seiko, and then save up for something bigger save up something really that you really like and in the meantime watch a lot of youtube videos learn a lot about watches join up forum facebook groups discussion groups and learn as much as possible about watches because you will need it and don't be uh let uh, form your own opinion and don't be afraid to collect something that no one else is collecting because that's another good advice uh, as there are tens of watches out there that everyone is collecting and everyone collection looks the same. So try to be individual and don't try to impress, don't buy watches to impress yourself and not some strangers from the internet because at the end of the day, all of us are having the Seiko SKS. So try to, if you don't like it, get a samurai, get a turtle, get something that you like and uh, be bold and don't buy the watches that you like that makes a smile when you look at it, puts a smile on your face and don't buy watches that someone else thinks is a cool watch and 50s of the Mall Ninjas have it down. So hopefully this will help you as a watch beginner and if you're not a watch beginner if you're just regular reviewer, please share your suggestions and advice for watch beginners, what watches to get. And remember, we are all of us are beginners. We used to be. I my first Seiko watch, my first watch that got me into watches was Seiko 5. And that's another great suggestion, especially the new sports line of Seiko 5. So Stick with Seiko and thank you for watching. I'm EDC Gunner. If this video helped you, give me a thumbs up and uh, share it with your buddies, collectors. And thank you once more. Cheers.